Hail to your lordship. It's about goddamn time. Yep. Did you see all these lines you have to memorize? It's ridiculous. How can you ever memorize Shakespeare? I don't know how they do it. It's and she informed retarded. us about this yesterday, so I don't know how the hell she expected. <laughs> she gave to us like, she gave us like what like a day's notice to memorize an entire Shakespeare scene. Yeah, that works. Out. I have I have two exams tomorrow. I have I have. Wait, yeah. Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Yeah, every day. Oh, okay. Whatever. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this shit! Hail to your lordship! I am glad to see you well, Horatio, or do I forget myself? <laughs> the same, my lord, and your poor servant ever. Sir, my good friend, I'll change that name with you. And what make you from Wittenberg, Horatio? A true indisposition, my good lord. I would not hear your enemy say so, nor shall you do mine ear that violence to make it truer of your own report against yourself. I know you are no truant. <laughs> but what is your affair in Elsinore? We'll teach you to drink deep ere you depart. My lord, I, I came to see your father's funeral. I pray thee, do not mock me, fellow student. I think it was to see my mother's wedding. <laughs> Indeed, my lord, it followed hard upon. Thrift, thrift, Horatio, the funeral baked meats did coldly furnish forth the marriage tables. Would I had met my dearest foe in heaven or ever I had seen that day, Horatio. My father, methinks I see my father. Where, my lord? In my mind's eye, Horatio. I saw him once, he was a goodly king. He was a man taken for all in all. I shall not look upon his like again. My lord, I, I think I saw him yesterday. Saw? Who? My lord, the king, your father. The king, my father. Season your admiration for a while with an attent ear till I may deliver this marvel to you. For God's love, let me hear. Too nice to get ahead. Two gentlemen, Marcellus and Bernardo, on their watch, in the dead vast and middle of the night been thus encountered. A figure like your father, armed at point exactly, cap a pay, appears before them and with solemn march goes slow and stately by them. Thrice he walked by their oppressed and fear-surprised eyes within his truncheon's length, whilst they, distilled almost a jelly in the act of fear, stand dumb and speak not to him. This to me in dreadful secrecy did they impart, and I with them on the third night kept the watch, where, as they had delivered both in time form of the thing, each word made true and good, the apparition comes. Now, I knew your father, these hands are not more alike. But where was this? My lord, upon the platform where we watched. Did you not speak to it? My lord, I did, but answer made it none. Yet once methought had lifted up its head and did address itself to motion, like as if to speak. But even then the morning cock crew loud, and at the sound it shrunk in haste away and vanished from our sight. Tis very strange. As I do live, my honored lord, tis true. And we did think it writ down in our duty to tell you of it. Indeed, indeed, sir, but this troubles me. Ah. Hold you the watch tonight? I do, my lord. Armed, you say? Armed, my lord. From top to toe? Oh, my lord, from head to foot. Then saw you not his face? Oh, yes, my lord, he wore his beaver up. What, looked he frowningly? A countenance more in sorrow than in anger. Pale or red? Nay, very pale. And fixed his eyes upon Most you? Most constantly. I would I had been there. It would much have amazed you. Very like, very like. Stayed it long? Mm, well, one with moderate haste might uh, tell a hundred. His beard was grizzled, no? It was as I have seen it in his life, a sable, silvered. I will watch tonight, perchance to will walk again. I warrant it will. If it assume my noble father's person, I'll speak to it, though hell itself should gape and bid me hold my peace. I pray you, if you have hitherto concealed this sight, let it be tenable in your silence still. And whatsoever else shall hap tonight, give it an understanding, but no tongue. I will requite your love. So fare you well. Upon the platform twixt eleven and twelve I'll visit you. My duty to your honor. Your love as mine to you, farewell. My father's spirit in arms. All is not well. I doubt some foul play. Would the night were come. Till then sit still, my soul. Foul deeds will rise, though all the earth overwhelms them to men's eyes. That 
was the worst thing that I've was, ever done. That was fucking amateur hour. Shakespeare is rolling in his grave. He, Kit Marlowe is fucking him in the ass right now. He is, actually. He is. Because he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but seriously. But seriously, awful. but seriously. Intolerance is wrong. Don't